Hello, you're listening to the Manifest It Sis podcast, a safe space for women of color to heal, get aligned, and learn all things spirituality, manifesting, self care, and personal development. I'm your host, Danny Faust. I'm a psychic intuitive, energy healer, and life coach that helps you shift your energy to manifest your dopest life with more ease and grace. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's jump in. This is episode number 28. This is a live recording for my YouTube channel, and it's all about seven questions to ask to really transform your life. Today's episode is brought to you by a life-changing class called Money Manifesting Magic. This is a life class taking place on Saturday, March 6th at noon Eastern, and I teach you all about how to allow in the money you desire by clearing your blocks and resistance to money. We're going to get rid of old money stories, and I'm going to do live energy work for the group, including an invocation and an attunement to the energy of money and the wealth that you desire and hell require (laughs) i'm literally taking you where the money resides and opening you up to be a clearer channel to that dough and i think you're going to have really great results from it some aha moments and also some counting that money moments i know when i ran this class back in january for the first time my class um, started manifesting money immediately Um, One notable student had a $15,000 week the very next week. And another woman received multiple grant payments, like back to back, (laughs) out of nowhere, practically. And everyone else has given me great reviews of the class and said how um, their money has just been flowing since. You can find some of the reviews up on Instagram on my MMM highlight of my IG stories. And in case you don't know, my Instagram is the Danny Faust. And you can find all the links to all of this on the show notes. But if you want to check out the class, it's bit.ly slash money resides. All right. Now let's get into today's episode, which is seven questions to ask yourself to truly transform your life. Let's get to it. Hello, it's me, Danny. I am the host of the Manifested Sis podcast. I'm also a life coach and an energy healer, which means I help people remove the blocks that are keeping them from manifesting the life of their dreams. So today we are going to talk about seven, (laughs) seven questions to ask yourself to really transform your life. We talk a lot about transformation, manifesting, healing, growth, personal development, all that stuff. And we tackle it from different areas. I run the Lifestyle Redesign Lounge on Facebook. It's a private group. Come join us. If you identify as a woman, come join us and we'll hang out. We talk about all kinds of personal development stuff, but we tackle it from different areas. Sometimes it's very brain-based, straight psychology, right? Sometimes it's very woo, very like energies, you know, the whole woo-woo side of things. I blend the practical logical and I blend the woo and the spiritual together because we are multifaceted and we need that kind of blend sometimes to make shit happen, to make transformation really occur. And the questions that we're going to talk about today are a great starting point for you if you are just starting your your journey to transformation and kind of you starting your personal development journey. And they're also a really great check-in for those of you who already have whether you are six months down the road a year 10 years asking yourself these questions are and journaling through them even better journaling out the responses to them it's grounding it's it's transformative in just answering them like settling yourself just to answer and and figure out where you're really at right this moment. Um, And it's expansive because when you have to sit and think of these answers, it helps you like open up to what you're, what you're going towards. So uh, I said, I kind of gave a big setup for it, (laughs) but here are the seven questions that you ask yourself when you're ready to transform your life. The first one is who am I? Yikes. Okay, that's a big question and you can answer it many different ways. It depends on how esoteric you want to go. 
Like I am a light being, I am energy, I am love light. Okay, sure sis, that's great. But here on earth also, let's think about who are you here? And you can answer that, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a lover, I'm a fighter, I'm a Virgo, whatever. <laughs> but who are you? What's your day to day? Like, what is your life? Who are you in this world? What do you give? What do you love? What do you hate? What do you, what are your hopes? What are your dreams? All of that stuff. Who are you? What makes you you? There's no wrong answers to this because whatever you write is right, <laughs> right? <laughs> whatever you write is you from your perspective. So I was just giving those examples to kind of guide it like, oh, maybe think about that. Maybe think about that. But whatever you choose to write is the right answer here. So who are you? And then I want you to think who says, because you might write down things that aren't even your story. Mm, think about that. Uh, I'm a, I'm a good whatever. I'm a, I'm a good writer. Do you think you're a good writer or did you just get praise on it before? Thoughts, right? So keep that in mind as you're writing. Who am I? Who am I truly? Okay. What do I want? Question number two, what do I want? Now this question could take you 18 pages of a notebook. This page, this question could take you a million years to answer fully. This page could be quick happiness and love, joy and peace, like whatever. <laughs> Again, there's no wrong when you're answering this, but what I want you to consider is when you're looking at what do I want, I want you to make sure that everything that you write down is what you want, what insert your name here, wants, <laughs> and not what you've been told to want, what you think you should want, what your parents want for you, what your spouse wants for you, what your boss wants for you, what your kids want for you. Because in those roles that we wrote down in the who am I, sometimes those roles of I am a doctor, I am a mother, I am a sister, I am a friend, I am a wife, those type of roles that we put down for ourselves, they kind of get convoluted in, in our wanting process. And we start to think that the things that those titles mean that we want is what we actually want. So I want you to get really settled. Take a few deep breaths, put your hand on your heart, put your hand on your solar plexus, take a few deep breaths, close your eyes and really settle in. Like, what do I want? Do I really want to get married and have 2.5 kids and a dog in the picket fence house in the suburbs? Is that really what I want? Or is that what I've been told to want from TV forever? What do you want? I want to get a house in Mexico and just chill on the beach forever. The kids can come if they want. John can come if he wants. <laughs> That's what I want. What do you want? What does the life that you really want look like? And you can be as detailed as you want. There's no wrong and right. And you can do this over and over however many times you'd like to just feel free in knowing that you can't make a mistake on this. The only thing that I want to caution you against is thinking of others versus yourself right now. Only what you want can be written down here. Okay. Next question. What am I willing to do to get it? So everything that you wrote down and what I want, what you willing to do to get it, sis? What are you willing to do? Are you willing to have long nights? Are you willing to give up some friends? Are you willing to pay big money for it? Are you willing to spend a lot of time on it? Are you willing to move across the country for it? What are you willing to do to get what you want? Are you willing to learn a new language? Learn how to code? I don't know. <laughs> what are you willing to do to get what you want? Think about that because being willing, like having this vision of like, Ooh, I want to, you know, have a big old house on the beach with um, a butler and oh, it's a mansion. Yeah. And, and have like a driver takes me around in the Bentley and oh, you know, you can say that's what I want. And then we got to think about, wait, hold on a second. I got to afford that. Um, then I have all these lives depending on me. Do I want all these people's livelihoods depending on me? What kind of job do I need in order to get that thing that I said I want? Do I want to work that hard or do I want to be able to chill with my family all day and just have a regular nine to five, 
chill with my family in the evenings and the weekends. Hmm, what do I want? What am I willing to do for it? Following that closely is what am I willing to give up to get it? Hey, what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up weekends? Girls nights out with your friends? Are you willing to give up some friends that might be toxic and just not heading in the way you're heading? Are you willing to give that up? Are you willing to give up certain foods to hit the, the body goal? Are you willing to give up um, sleeping in so that you can wake up and go meet with a trainer? What are you truly willing to give up? It goes hand in hand with the other question because it's really, I don't want to say realistic, but it's getting real with yourself about what you can and can't commit to right now. And I say right now because you're writing it in the now. So you're coming from your now perspective of who you are as you write it. Six months from now, sis, you're going to be a whole different person, hopefully, because you're growing, because you're listening to podcasts like this, and you're doing your other self-work and healing work, right? Right. So in six months, you're going to be a whole different person. And where you're writing it from, whew, it might change. Your, your wants might look different. What you're willing to give up might look different. So just from where you're at right now, what are you willing to give up? And be real with yourself. This is not the time to idealize, like, well, my best version of me, my next level self would. No, no, because you're not next level self right now. Right now, you are you here now writing down what it is you want and what you're willing to give up for it. Okay? The next question is who's on my team? And I love this question because you are always supported. And if you feel like there's no one you can write down on this list, I want you to know a couple things. One, you can write Dan down Danielle Marie Faust because I'm on your team. I might be long distance, but I'm supporting you, boo. <laughs> you can hop into my Facebook group. I will be there and be there for you. If you need a coach, DM me. We can talk about coaching. I will be there for you in a much more hands-on fashion. But just know that I'm here for you. Even if, it's, even if we never connect and you're just following my Instagram and getting a little motivation and support, I'm here for you. So you can write down one name. If you couldn't think of a name to write down, Danielle Marie Faust, F-A-U-S-T, thank you. Write that down, okay? But then let's also think a little more woo. Whatever you think the creator is, creator, source, the most high God, Jesus, I don't know, Allah, infinity, collective consciousness, eternity, the all, whatever you pray to, whatever you think is a creator, if you believe in a creator, whatever you think the source of all is, write that down because that has your back 1,000%. If you believe in guardian angels, write them down. If you believe in um, a spirit squad, you know, spirit guides and ancestors, write them down. The whole lot of them. Whatever you believe in on that front, write them down. They count. And literally, they're waiting to help you at all times. If you want to delve into that, I've got other episodes you can check out. Or you can come into my group and we can talk about that a little bit. But just know you've got people on your team. If you couldn't think of anyone to write down immediately, you already have th that little short list I gave you is right there. But back to humans that you do know in your real life. <laughs> that write those down. Parents, friends, aunties, uncles, whatever. Teachers, mentors. Who's on your team? Who can support you in these goals? And it might be different teams for different goals for different what you want, right? But write them down. Get that in your head because you need to feel supported no matter what your goals are, what you're willing to give up, what you're willing to do for them. You need to feel supported and know that you are not alone in this at all ever, period. I don't care what your little girl in your brain is telling you right now. You are never alone at all ever, period. Period. Okay. The next is what do I need to do? Now we're getting more tactical, granular, real. What do I need to do for this? Do I need to go back to school? Do I need to learn to code? Do I need to make some calls? Do I need to move? Do I need, what do I need to do? Maybe what you need to do first is make a to-do list. <laughs> so let's get on it. What do you need to do to reach these goals? These what you want, right? Write down a few of them, the things that you want the most, and then list out what do you need to do for them. Top of your head. This does not have to be an exhaustive list. This does not have to be the end-all, be-all. And this doesn't mean that it might not change in a month because you're going to change in a month, remember? Just like I said, six months from now, you're different. Spoiler alert, a month from now, you're different. 
as long as you're doing the work, the healing work. You're listening to podcasts like this and you're doing that self-care, self-work, healing work, growth work to get yourself together. Okay? So for now, today, at this point, what do you think that you need to do to get those things that you want? Those experiences that you want, those life circumstances that you want. Write those all out. And then the last one, and this is where I take your little feet and I put them next to the fire and I hold them there. I ask you, when are you gonna start? That's question number seven. When am I going to start? When, when are you gonna start? For this question, unlike all of the others, there is one right answer. Do you know what that one right answer is? That's right. Now, right the fuck now. <laughs> Start now because you don't know what tomorrow brings. You don't know what is promised. You don't know. What you do know is that right now you are alive and well and you can do whatever the hell you want. So might as well make what you're doing today, right now, be what's taking you towards what you said you wanted in question number two. Do you feel me? Did this resonate? I hope it did, my friend. It was sent with love from me to you. I hope that you take some time, write these seven questions down, answer them fully, then come back in a month or two and do it again. Compare, compare notes, okay? Whew. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for tuning in, depending on where you're seeing or listening to this. I appreciate you. Please share this with a friend who might need to hear this good, good, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.